Good morning, everybody. Millie here, joining you from Port Lincoln, or private airstrip actually, just outside Port Lincoln. I'm at um, Rod Riddle's place, and uh, today I'm going to be flying from Port Lincoln all the way over to Port Perry. Uh, you're joining me for Wing Threads, Flight Around Oz, Flight Leg 11 of the trip. For those who don't know me, my name is Millie Formby. I am a zoologist and a pilot and an illustrator and I'm flying around Australia to share how amazing and awesome migratory shorebirds are with uh, uh, students and uh, teachers all around the coast doing a whole bunch of STEM incursions at primary schools all around Australia. And the project's going to contribute to educational objectives for BirdLife Australia's Migratory Shorebird Program. Welcome to everybody who's just joining the live stream. Um, I'm on Barnala country here on the Southern Air Peninsula near Port Lincoln and I'd like to pay my respects to traditional owners of the land uh, past, present and emerging. And I'd also like to say a huge thank you to the Southern Air Bird Club who are sponsoring this flight leg today. So I gave a talk last night for the Air Peninsula Landscape Board who sponsored the last flight leg from Streaky Bay down here to Port Lincoln. Thank you so much. And uh, while I was there, the Southern Air Bird Club announced that they would sponsor this flight leg as well. So huge thank you to them as well. And for those, uh, if you're interested in supporting wing threads, if you uh, like what you're, you see and what I'm doing, then um, you can go to wingthreads.com forward slash donate. And there are still several flight legs there you can sponsor as well. A sponsorship of a flight leg is $500. It covers the food, fuel and accommodation for myself and my ground crew for that flight leg. And uh, you get your name on the live stream. You also get to be on my website as well or you can just chip in five bucks and sponsor a kilometer whatever you feel um i've also got a children's book so if you're interested in buying my kids book the a shorebird flying adventure which is a non-fiction storybook i've written with jackie karen it's published by csiro publishing you can click the link in the description below and please be sure <laughs> to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, follow me as I live stream all the flights as I'm travelling around Australia. So good to see people coming in. Nicola, good morning. Lovely to see you again. Um, Carol, good morning, Millie. Happy flying. Lovely to see you here. Good morning. And because Sarian lives, hope the trip is going well, Millie. Glad to catch it from America when I can. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for joining. I've got a couple of people who um, follow me from the US. So it's really cool uh, to be able to share the Australian coastline with you today. So today we're in South Australia. I'll be travelling from the southern tip of the Air Peninsula up to the eastern side of the Air Peninsula. I'll be crossing across the head of the uh, Spencer Gulf near Wyala and then landing at Port Piri. That's the trip today. I have um, my friend Gavin Myers, who can might be able to see over there. Let's see. Ooh, there's Gavin over here. There, he's very tall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Gavin is another trike pilot from the area and he's going to be flying out with me today. So he's my wingman and uh, he's going to see me off to, um, well, his trike flies a lot slower than mine. So I think he's going to take off and head to go first and then I'll just catch him up and wave goodbye. I'd like to say a big shout out too to all the students that I've visited over the last few days. So I visited uh, Lake Wongari Primary School. Uh, so hello everyone at Lake Wongari, all the students at Tumby Bay as well. Great to see you this morning and also Cowell Area School and Punindi Area School too. Good morning uh, to anyone who's watching from any of those schools. Cal Area School, I am on my way up to buzz the school. So I'll probably be there about nine o'clock this morning. Annie, good morning, lovely to see you. Also joining us from the US, Giovanni. Good morning, Millie. Hi, Giovanni, good to see you. Nicola, how's the weather there this morning? 
It's absolutely calm. It's perfectly still here. We've got a little bit of, um, well, I'd say it's broken cloud, maybe at two and a half thousand feet. Uh, and it's meant to clear up. It's going to be calm and beautiful all day long. So that's perfect. Uh, and very light winds. It's not going to be more than five knots all day. So that'll be perfect. That's what we want. Annie, hey to all the students. Yes, the students have been loving it. It's so great to um, be visiting all the schools and sharing with them all the amazing journeys of migratory shorebirds and seeing all their beautiful drawings as well. Daniel Paintball Eruption. <laughs> Good morning, Millie. Safe flying and tailwinds forever. Yes, definitely forever. <laughs> okay, well, I reckon we should... Um, I should start to get ready to go, so I might round up Gavin. Ooh. Okay. I'm ready when you are, Gavin. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll get going. Okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll, I haven't got GPS, so I'm just going to eye of sight to Tumbi. Yeah, of course. All right. What's, so what sort of height do you want to go at? Um, I don't know. I was going to go at like 1,500, maybe yeah. 2,500 at most. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's start off at 1,500, given yeah. the cloud is probably That's not too far off. I thought it might be about 2,500. Yeah. yeah. So I'll climb up to 1,500 and I'll just take yeah. a straight line to Tumby. Sounds good. And then we'll just switch to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sounds good. And chat and yep. just... Maybe even if you slow down a little bit, I'll speed I'll, up a little bit. I'll see bit. what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, um, I'll slow down. Yeah, and, and I'll just, whatever, see what tumby. happens. And I, might just fly, I might fly to Tumby, even if you get ahead, mm -hmm. and I'll just go for a little fly around the coast. That sounds lovely. I think yeah. you should. It's yeah. a pretty nice morning. Yeah. Yeah. So, awesome. Best of luck for Thank everything. You, oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, and, you um, too. safe flying, oh, and geez. best of luck with all your wishes. Yeah, thank you. We'll cross paths again. But you're doing a great thing. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'll, I'll throw a donation on your website too, eh? Oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah. Um, Wingthreads.com forward slash donate. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw a donation on behalf yeah. of the companies. That'd be so lovely. I'd right. love that very much. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Right. Cheers. All okay. right. You we'll see you in the air. I'll see you in the air. Okay. Sounds good. I'm heading off. Okay. Thank you so That's much. That's good. Um, I yep. hope you have a good trip the Thanks, rest of Jill. the way. Yeah, and, uh, cheers. Thanks for well having for me. You. I'm sure yeah, it will. Nice to have met you, Millie. You too, have Rod. Have a safe trip. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. We'll follow you along. Yes, please. Yeah. I'm on YouTube now if you yeah. want to okay. jump on and yes, enjoy we, some. We have looked at you on Oh, video. good. You can uh, watch yeah. some slow TV. That's what we found out about you. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. Awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Right. See you. See you, Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to get strapped in? Let's do this. Oh, it really needs to cut my hair. Okay. Put my little helmet on that Gavin getting ready to go. There she goes. Let's get up in the sky.
Okay, hopefully you can all hear me. Alright. Okay, quick picture. Tires are pumped up. Had clearance. We'll move another hand and foot throttle. Wake this car. Wires. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. Zip for my zips to come up. My instrument. Airfield is. 420. I see the piece of green, I've got oil pressure. Oil source temp, the cylinder head temp, the working. I've got 53 litres of fuel, nice one. Um, mixture. Fuels are thin and secure. Fuels are clean position. Which is My switch is working. Got my clip on my iPad. Plug it in. Good. Traffic in the Port Lincoln area. Mark of I six one one six is taking private strip ten west to Port Lincoln for a local flight to Tumby Bay. Traffic in Port Lincoln area to West Port Lincoln. That's Gavin. It's me. I got my little piece of paper with all my. Radio frequency changes and details of the airstrip. Yeah, my little flight plan. My flight plan. Yeah. Oh, my God. Traffic in the Port Lincoln area, mark the line 6116 is departing private street 10 west of Port Lincoln for a flight to Tumpy Bay. Traffic Port Lincoln area. Okay, 
think they have to stop doing this hot can thing, but anyway. Yeah. Just waiting for my engine to warm up still. While I do that, I just got a camera working. Okay, we're filming. I've got all the things working today. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Keith. He's doing the photo thing. Bye. Yeah, I got it now. He's telling me to put my gloves on because I forgot one time. <laughs> Okay, let's do the glass thing. Not quite at 50 degrees yet. Yeah. Hey, 
hari ini ada pitfalls We've got a good view on the camera today. So uh, this is Port Lincoln Airport to my right here that you can probably see. And we're going to be tracking up the western, oh uh, sorry, the eastern coast of the Air Peninsula. Joining 
the other side, so that's good. Watch your position, Millie. Uh, I'm about five miles northwest of Port Rico, just over the foothills where the big power lines are. Oh yeah, I'm just to the east of the power lines. Have you got visual on me? Yeah, you're directly at my 12 o'clock. Copy. Yellow fields, you can see that canola crop. There's lots of canola here. Apparently, they're going to get a lot of money for it this year. So, Port Lincoln is the seafood capital of Australia. And Gavin is flying with me from the seafood distribution place. And, um, yeah, so he's going to chip in a donation on behalf of the company for the project. So, that's really awesome. Okay, I'm going to see my clear up and then compass is on the right hand side, so there's a post. My dark spot, well, I'm not really using it too much. And just see the piece. Zero one final, so it's out of our way. Um, altitude 2500 radio is on the right, we've got the oil temperature pressure screen. Fuel is sufficient and we have had a kitchen failure. Oh, there's a lot of canola around, but maybe in that brown paddock over there. Okay, Glad I put my sunglasses in my pocket. Getting out from underneath this cloud should be real nice now. Let's we'll just follow this road. Doing a kiss on the radio, you should be able to hear it too. Alright, I'm going to put my fingers here. They're like ice already. It's bloody cold today. Go up real high until I have to. 
but it's about a three hour flight today to Port Perry. Well, if I need to, I'll stop at Cal. I'll piss if I need help. Okay, I'm doing 60 knots now, so I should catch up to Gavin in a bit. Still in my phone box. I'll come up on his left so I get him on the camera. Beautiful view. So this cloud base is about 3,000. I'm going to stay under that. So I'm currently doing 60 knots, my ground speed 56, and I'm catching up with Gavin, he's on my 12 spot. <laughs> this is a beautiful air peninsula, we're just north of Port Lincoln now. So it's one of these wetlands that are uh, important to shorebird sites, so this area has a number of uh, hooded flutters nesting in the area, all of the air peninsula is pretty good for Footy. Um, I know up at Streaky Bay they were saying they had a six pairs breeding at the moment, so that's great. Um, hoodies are listed as endangered. 
is Sunday day. Sunday day, traffic lights are like 9103 miles southwest of the field at 3500 maintaining to overfly and accompanied by one of the lights are like Sunday day traffic. Sunday day airport. Ah. Okay, Kevin, I think I'm at your seven or eight o'clock. Yeah, I have your official now. Okay, I'll slow down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a trip, so I can speed up a little bit as well once you catch up. We'll try and find a comfortable uh, air speed. I'm doing 54 at the moment. Okay, I think I'm doing 50. I've got a discrepancy between my analog and digital, so my digital says 50, analog says 46. Okay, I'll slow down to 52. Yeah, perfect. I can maintain that easy. I'll let you catch up and then I'll maintain the um, same air speed. Uh, pretty much at your 9 o'clock now. Hi! Thank you. I'm at your 9 o'clock now. Yeah, got visual. <laughs> Alright, up in the dish. So, I hope you guys can see Gavin over there. Over the water. Down a little bit. Woo! So cool! Have a flying buddy. Alright, so we made it to Tumby Bay. The next stop is Cowell, which is 57 miles away. So that's about an hour. So it's currently, well, my clock is 8.41, so it's actually 8.11 local time. So we should be there. <coughs> what do you think? 10 past 9.
so cool to have a flying friend. My ground stays only 43 knots. Oh my goodness. Four lengths of traffic, I'm going to up the call to taxi cell by 014. Port Lincoln Okay, Compass is on the right heading, I'm following the road. My logbook is up to date and um, engine temperature for pressure to green, altitude 2500. Radio is on the right frequency, oil temperature and pressure is green. Fuel is sufficient. I have an engine failure. I land in that rail to have a go there. It's Gavin. I think I've listened to it being out for a fly today. It's pretty cool. I hope you guys can see him on the live stream, I have no idea. Anyway, it's over there, next to me. Here's my eyes too. So nice. Okay, I might just adjust my box setting. Oh, beautiful. That's even better. Now we don't have all that background noise.
together is my husband's name, which is my book. That little bit of piece of coastline I was telling you about, Billy, is the uh, piece that's starting here now. We run sort of lots of little series of bays and inlets and beaches. It's quite beautiful. Gorgeous. I'll come over towards the paint. Uh, I'll track over a little bit Thank you. 
safe travels, Millie. This is where I'll depart, turn around and go home. Back to my nine to five. I wish you all the best and uh, keep doing a uh, good job for the thing you're doing, OK? Thanks, Kevin. It's been great having you flying with me this morning. Thanks, Mike. You too. Bye-bye. See ya.
Traffic acting up at Juliet is on base, runway 05 for Delta and Bokadi.
and it's stuff like now for quick flash rebreak and then we'll keep going on for the series. Traffic and the you know, Juliet is turning base with the zero five for the set go for you. Juliet is departing upwind, passing 900 feet, climbing to 2,500 feet, tracking 102 Kadena.
Flight 9120 is 10 miles southwest of the field at 2,500. Understand inbound. Hell.
Hotel traffic, Michael at 9122, backtrack 32 to the parking area, Hotel. I'm going to come back and read all of these lovely comments in a minute. I really need to wee. Okay. I'm going to have this flying suit first. Oops, don't want to lose that. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'll just stop here for a minute. I'll leave my headphones here. Oh, okay. Back in a second, everyone.
Just like, well, I'm not quite finished with the glow, I've still got a couple more hours to go. So I'm going to jump back in and um, head to Port Perry. So the plan now is to do the buzz with the lab and get up high so we can cross up the golf So I'll just do a quick walk around, make sure everything's alright. My grass is a bit long. Um, oh! Whoops. Oh, you probably all couldn't hear me when I was talking then. Whoops. Um, thanks everybody for joining. <laughs> That's pretty much what I said. Okay, I'm just checking everything's all right. Oh. Something's flicked up against my propeller. I've got a little bit of a chip on me. Nothing major though, just a little nick. But um, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, go ahead and check that. Must have been a little stone. Hmm, interesting. Okie dokie. How much fuel we got? We got just under 40 litres. Let's um, push this back a bit. We'll start up over the grass. The tiniest little hint of the breeze. wheel. No surprises there. That. Yeah. Something goopy on my strut. Hmm, not sure what that is. Okay. Oh, I hit my head. Okay. 
Welcome back, everybody. Alrighty. Let's do the second half of this trip. Oh, here
fly over the school, it was a check.
Bye, <laughs> that was a terrible landing. But anyway, don't judge me for it. I got hit by a little bit of wind before I landed. Oh, wow. Hello, everybody. Oh, go Millie. Flying in the big sky. I did. I just went up to 9,500 feet to get over the um, water there. It was so good. Uh, not the best three point of landing I've seen, but it's still good. That was a terrible landing, Kay. Anyway, we're here, so that's all good. Rachel, haha, you landed. That's a good landing. It is. Any landing you walk away from? Oh, it was a sloppy landing. I got hit by a little bit of wind just before I landed, and um, yeah, just had to do a quick recovery. Bryce knew, let's remember our migratory shorebirds expend huge energy and time avoiding bad weather if they can. Some have to fly back to where they started to try again or abort migration and breeding altogether. So true. Oh, hello, friends of Adelaide International Bird Sanctuary. The Air Peninsula, as I've never seen it before. How wonderful. Welcome to Port Perry, everyone. Um, the hangar is being open for me as you can see. I was greeted by a baby little dog <laughs> as I landed, which is pretty adorable. Hi, Rach. So good to see you. So turquoise. What a gorgeous day to fly. It was so smooth all the way along. I was just frozen. My toes are pretty cold right now. I've still got my Uggies on. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll go push the trike into the hangar. <laughs>
Yeah, because I think it would be nice for you to get some television. You got a, you got a television station. The same ones. They do. Yeah. The television do you do? Yeah, Andrew, he works at the new station. Yeah. You'll be excited when you see it. Yours is a good one. Yeah, because I know um, one of my friends. No, one. <laughs> so, where are you from? What sort of you told me where you were going?
Oh, that's probably hello. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll um, see myself when we see the Okay. Hello, everybody. Oh. So the plane is in the hangar. Huzzah. Um, Nicola Jones, great flight, epic scenery. Wasn't it beautiful? That water was so pretty. Um, absolutely magic. That's the first time I've done a big water crossing as well. So I flew from Point Longley over to Point Germain here on the Pit Port Perry side across the Spencer Gulf. I went over to, um, hey, Spencer, there's a golf that's named after you, Spencer Gulf. Um, but, uh, yeah, I went up to 9,500 and crossed, so that was a little bit amazing. Um, also very cold, so I'm really happy to be here. Have a cup of tea and warm your feet. I will. My toes are so chilly. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with me all the way through to the end. It's been almost five hours today. Um, fantastic journey. It was so good to be able to watch this live to the end. I know, right, because the reception or the – Battery has been running flat so many times. I'm really excited that you could all join me. Thank you for being here. Lorraine, lovely to see you. Congratulations on another successful leg of your journey, Millie. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. And a huge thank you again to the Southern Air Bird Club for sponsoring this leg of the flight. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, we'll be doing the next flight leg most likely on Saturday, and that will be from uh, Port Perry to Gawler. So we'll be in Adelaide, and then it will be um, the end of Keith's time with me as ground crew, which is a bit sad. I'm sad to see Keith go. He's been with me for – it'll be exactly three weeks. So Keith will be heading back to Perth. So thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm going to sign off and go and uh, get warm. And um, I look forward to catching up with you again on the weekend. See you later. Bye.